Ladies and gents, welcome to Six Figs. I'm Kyle, and in today's video, we're talking about Definity, Internet Computer, and Decentralized Science, and Noble Blocks. Before I continue on, this is not a sponsored video. I have not been given any tokens. I have not been sponsored by Noble Blocks. I'm bullish on this project because it is using Definity's Internet Computer as a base. It is built on internet computer and it is operating within the Ethereum ecosystem where all the liquidity is. So I am very bullish on Noble Blocks for that reason. Also folks, uh, you know, it's just kind of like one of those things. I support any ecosystem that builds on Definity's internet computer as long as I think that it's legitimate. And I do think that Noble Blocks is bringing a product to uh, the whole Web3 space that people want. And really when it comes down to it is they want transparency, especially in medical research. What I find interesting about this Noble Blocks platform is that it could almost be used as a template for other industries like the food and drug industry, for example, where corporations do not care about their customers, just like the cigarette companies, right? It's the same thing. A hospital, a big corporate biopharma company would rather treat you long-term than solve your problems on the spot. And when it comes down to it, you know that the medical profession is the exact same way. They might prescribe you treatment that you might not necessarily need or operations or procedures that you might not necessarily need. So when it comes down to this, this allows for a complete decentralized um, state where people can go ahead, drop research papers, get peer-to-peer -peer review, critique, confirmation from other industry experts. It also allows people that are not uh, PhDs or doctors or scientists to participate. There's a lot of very smart, dumb people out there. And there's a lot of very dumb, smart people that really kind of specialize in certain areas of possibly science, whatever their jam is. There could be somebody that's very knowledgeable about you know, chemistry or something like that uh, that might not be uh, a PhD level uh, scientist that could do a bunch of research, present it to scientists uh, to get critique or confirmation. Uh, so I like the fact that it doesn't discriminate on your location, doesn't discriminate on your education, it doesn't discriminate on the color of your skin, anything. Uh, this is an area for people to uh, come together. And it's kind of got like this LinkedIn, GitHub uh, style feel to it for me. So this is very cool. And I think that a lot of times we've seen it all, especially with the coronavirus vaccines, for example. I'm not taking a side either side. But we saw a lot of people battling it out on crypto Twitter or on Twitter. We saw a lot of people battling it out on Facebook trying to share opinions, and when it comes down to it, I think both sides have legitimate arguments. But what happened? All these arguments and stuff like that have been archived. They've been washed out by social media platforms like Facebook and X and things like that. The information just gets buried. So this is a way where this information can be organized, stored on chain, not tampered with. So uh, I, I'm very interested in this. And like I said, I would love to see this same template trickle into like other industries like the food and drug industry, for example. Um, so it, it's just kind of like this, this uh, uh, collaborative research network, uh, decentralized academic ecosystem, fair recognition for contribu contributions. So I, I do like this. And people that contribute... Uh, will get tokens for reviewing. So I, I'm kind of interested to see how all of the credentials of the reviewers will be um, KYC'd into Noble Blocks, things like that. Uh, but they do have a, a roadmap. Uh, they're currently completing their front end, updating the UI. Uh, so this is kind of cool to see. And they might even be at this point where 
they are at the strategy for investor engagement and token distribution. Uh, because we did see the pre-sale go down yesterday, which I was able to get in on. And we'll talk about that in just a second. Uh, but let's talk about the tokens. There was a private sale at 0 0.002, a pre-sale, which was a fair launch at 0 0.0038, a price target launch for Uniswap, uh, which is not available at this time. I'm sure it's coming soon but that is at 0 0.006. So it's gonna be interesting to see where this price goes. And I've got some estimates and I just wanna share with you uh, another project called Axon here in just a second. Why I think that Noble Blocks uh, price could possibly do the same thing. This isn't financial or trading in, or investment advice or anything like that. This isn't about the price to me, uh, to say the least. Um, so, uh, with that said, there was a fair launch that went down yesterday and it went down fast. There is a huge demand for this token because we saw 220 ETH worth get sold in less than 25 seconds. They raised almost $800,000 in 20 seconds. It was unreal. And I was able to get a third of my ETH to go through. And so I think I ended up with like 200 and... 81,000 tokens or something like that. Um, so I'm very excited. I am uh, holding this token. Uh, so it's great. <laughs> um, uh, one thing that I also wanted to kind of check out was that this has been audited by CyberScope. Uh, it's got an 82% uh, risk uh, score, so which is a low risk score, which that was good to see. Uh, the audit, 95%. I don't know if that's 95% done, uh, but it was as of two days ago. Uh, we can view the findings here. Uh, so there are some critical things. ST stop transactions, meaning they could stop the transactions. Uh, so they'll have to go ahead here and um, I think they call it black hole that. And that might not be able to, they might not be able to do that until the token launches or something like that. Uh, but they have KYC verification uh, with pinksale.notion.site. So it's always good to see uh, KYC go down because if something happens, uh, people need to know who's behind it. Um, when you look at Axon Dow, and remember when I was telling you that Noble Blocks had a 1 billion token supply. Uh, when I look at uh, something that has launched recently, I have no, nothing, uh, I, I did not get in on Axon Dow. I kind of watched it from the sidelines. But this has a billion tokens according to uh, CoinGecko. Uh, and it has a circulating supply of 153 million somewhere in there. I do know that Noble Blocks was saying that there is going to be around 86 million tokens in circulation around the, the time of the launch. So slightly uh, more than half of what, um, of what was uh, allocated for the Axon launch. And Axon Dow is a decentralized science token uh, as well. Rank number 614. Uh, so with that said, you guys can see how Axon Dow kind of launched, and this thing has gone up significantly. With Noble Blocks, if we get to a billion dollar market cap, a token will be worth a dollar, right? So with that said, um, you know, it, and that's with all the coins in circulation and things like that. But you know, you can see how uh, this thing mooned, and I'm not like I'm not advocating for you guys to go out and buy this. Like I said, this isn't about the money for me. I just think this is a really cool project being built on ICP, and it's being you ICP is being used for one of the, the the fundamental reasons it was created to operate like a cloud uh, platform service for applications to build on. But you guys can see that uh, out of the gates, this thing ran up in three days, 2,400%. And it ended up running up 29,000%. Um, <clears> you know, so I, I'm going to play around a little bit with this and, and see where Noble Blocks ends up at. Um, 
it, it is, you know, anytime you start investing, uh, there is risk that you could lose it all. So obviously don't bet the farm on this if you decide to get in on Noble Blocks. Uh, but from what I can tell, I think the project is pretty decent to say the least. Um, and we'll just have to continue to cover it uh, as things come up.